So, hello guys, um, good evening. Um, this is um, Azu is Mpoje, and definitely most people know me as um, Crypto Toilet. Um, I just want to do this quick video tutorial in line with the recent um, update from the federal government of Nigeria to the um, ban of Twitter, activities of Twitter in Nigeria. Definitely, I know by now a lot of you won't be able to access your Twitter. You've been trying to access it and you've not been able to access it. To access your Twitter, it's very, very simple. All you just have to do is just go to the Play Store and search for Pair VPN or Winscribe VPN, right? To search for um, on Play Store, just extra to Play Store, all right? Then you have to download the uh, search for uh, Pair VPN, all right? You see, just download it. And um, once you download it, open it, all right? Then you have to select this um, um, region. Right, you choose any region of your choice, but I decide to choose Nigeria. And the reason why I choose Nigeria because it has Nigeria, that's why I like PRVPN because PRVPN have Nigeria religion. And the reason why I choose Nigeria is because I, I use my phone sometimes, I, 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 I use my phone for trading, and um, Binance does not like using um, VPN for trading. But since it's a Nigerian VPN, no problem. But in case if I go and choose any other country VPN or USA VPN, my account might be restricted. That's why I just decided to choose. Nigeria as my location in PRVPN, all right? So you can just choose any location, then tap connect, all right? So just just hit the connect button, all right? And it will turn green, all right? If you click on this thing now, you switch it off. Then if you click on on, you switch it on, all right? So you just have to switch it on. Once you switch it on, it will turn green, okay? But there's one problem with this thing, this. One problem with Twitter now is that when twitter eventually restrict your account and they ask you or probably maybe you want to log in from another device twitter might ask you for an otp code most especially if you enable otp on your twitter account you have to go and disable it all right you have to quickly disable the reason why you have to disable it is because if twitter eventually asks for otp you won't be able to receive otp with your mobile number be it mtn glow because it will disable twitter so what you have to do now is you have to disable it then you have to enable another security op option which is what google authenticate option and i want to show you how to do that the reason is so that even if you want to log in on another device instead of them asking for otp they will only ask you for google authenticate code which is very very simple so for in order to do that what you have to do is you have to head straight to play store but before that let me also tell you that it's not only pair vpn you can use you can use any vpn to access twitter you can use winscribe they are all free winscribe i use winscribe as well i use Win winscribe for both um any online stores maybe like most especially for fiverr and some other stuff i use winscribe vpn so what you have to do is you can also download winscribe vpn all right so but now to secure your twitter account what you have to do is this you have to download google indicator you have to go, go to the play store or ios either apple or android download google indicator and i want to show you how to use this. once you are done downloading it, you have to head straight to chrome all right chrome don't don't you have to head straight to chrome log in on chrome to your twitter account there's a reason because if you log into Twitter app to set up Google Authenticator, there is a code you need to save. You won't be able to see the code because Twitter app will automatically link um, the code to Google Authenticator app, and we don't want that because it's very, very risky. That is the mistake a lot of people will do. A lot of people using app will be connected to Google Authenticator automatically without saving the particular code, which I'm going to be showing you. It is very, very that code, Google Authenticator code, is very, very important. The reason why it's important is if this code, if you if you lose your phone. And maybe you get another phone and you want to log in. Twitter will ask you for a Google Indicator code. And for you to generate that code, there is a code you should have saved while setting it up. All right, you, you, you have to go and download Google Indicator on your on that phone. You just maybe you have another phone. That phone you just bought, maybe you lost your previous phone and you want to log into your Twitter on the new phone. You have to install Google Indicator on the new phone. And by the time you install Google Indicator, there is a code Google Indicator will ask from you. The code that Twitter gave you while trying to set up your what? um google indicator so you have to save that code once you have the code no problem we just link it with google indicator again and generate the the, the the otp code needed to log into your twitter account but if you use the app to set up if you use twitter app to set up this thing that code you are supposed to save go, you will not see it and it becomes a problem if you lose that phone and many people will make this mistake so don't make that mistake so make sure you log in to your twitter on your android on your chrome right because it is chrome you will be able, once you, if you log in on chrome you'll be able to set this uh, you'll be able to set it easily you'll be able you will have access to the code which i will be showing you so what you have to do is this you just have to go to your normally your settings like this then you go straight to settings once you go to once you click on your menu you head straight to settings and privacy here all right once you click on settings all right you will head straight to um security 
an account access you will click on it so you will head straight to security then you see where they write two-factor authenticator all right two-factor authenticator you click on it all right once you see two-factor authenticator the next thing you have to do is um you will see where the right uh, uh what are they called? okay you will see text message this you will see this and you see this now if you've already marked this or um, check it or mark it all right but before you unmark it all right you have to unmark it you have to unmark on check this thing all right if you've done that before so the next thing you have to do now you will now click on this authenticator app so once you click on it you will click on this um authenticator app all right you click on the authenticator app so um once you click on it it will generate this 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 thing for you this this particular um um what are you calling it it will generate this this particular um this thing it will generate this thing for you this particular stuff here all right it will generate it for you so once you generate it you will click on can't scan qr code okay you will click on it so once you click on can't scan um qr code once you click on it it will show you something like this something like this it will show you something like this all right a code like this you will see something like this all right so this code which we see this this code which we see this code this particular code which we see this particular code all right you will now click on next okay so once you click on next this code this particular code there is what i say you will copy you must copy this code this code you must copy it you must copy this code and this code you must save it somewhere either you write it down or go and save it somewhere else any place you can either save it in your email as a draft or save it somewhere else just save it where you have access to it this code it's, it's very very important in the future when you lose then you when you lose your phone and you want to log in on that phone you will see the essence of this code this code is very very important i've made that mistake in the past on one of my exchange account on cryptocurrency exchange account to today i can i don't have access to that account again i've sent numerous messages to their support and they did not answer me all right ask because i can't log in because i then i did not i did not write down this code this type of code google indicator code this code you need it now you have to copy this code once you copy this code you have to do something you will then come to Google Indicator app, all right? Make sure you open it. Uh, Google Indicator app, you will open it. Once you copy the code, you see that I have a series of those dark code here. You can see that I have a series of dark code for different exchanges. You see that I have a series of this code for different exchanges. We now click on this plus. You will see, scan the QR code. We are not going to scan the QR code because if you scan the QR code, <coughs> if you scan the QR code, then you won't have access to the code. It will connect automatically. So you click on enter a setup key. All right, once you click on center set okay this place you can just give it any name like i'll just give it twitter all right so in this place that the right key that key i actually to copy and save somewhere you now paste it here all right so i'll just paste mine so you just paste yours here this time base leave it as time base all right leave it as time base okay you see they have counter base time base leave it at time base all right you can choose whichever one you want to but i usually leave my own at time base all right so i'll push my key here all right so i've added my own so you can see it here it will start showing code here you see that this code every 15 15 seconds will be changing like maybe every five, five seconds or 10 seconds this code will always change every 10 seconds so when you're trying to use this code make sure you're already on the interface you want to use it because if you're not fast enough this code will change and once this code changes it's always changed by time time base and once this code changes the one you wanted to use, the one you want to use won't work anymore. You will see that after some seconds, this code will change from 878 to another one. It will change all this code. If you monitor every everything here, you will see that they will start all this code right here, they will start changing. You can see that all of them has changed. So it's time based. That is how it does. It's all it usually change. So me now you now copy one of this code, just copy it. So once you copy it, you will head straight to that your Twitter. You know, you will click on this. It's not there to enter the authenticator code because you've already put it, you will now put paste the code there, then you now click on verify oh you see that is not the required code so we have to go back and try again because since the code has changed again we, we copy it we put it there
oh then what I sh- what I call what actually happened here is I use the previous um Google Netcator code. I use the previous one. So what I'm going to do is in this place it wrote if the verification process fee go back and link the app to Twitter account again. So I will click on it. I'll go here. So I will have to go and generate a uh, fresh um Google Netcator um this fresh this thing. So I will go and generate this. So what I will do here is this because I will come here, I will delete this one because I don't need it again. I will click on it. Once you tap it, you will see delete up here delete up here so i want to delete it i will go and add a new one i will re- remove account i'll click on this plus down here i'll click on the enter setup key again so i will scroll down here i will go to this place i will go and generate a, a new one all right i'll go and generate a new one because that previous one is no longer working all right so that is just it but for you once you get once you are able to set the one that works you don't need to generate a new one here because you'll just be using that one you go and save it so let me just pause this and i'll quickly do it all right, so I've, I've added the new in the new key, so it has generated a Google Authenticator code for me here. So I will copy this code now. Once I copy it, I will head straight back to Twitter. All right, so I'm back here. Enter Authenticator code. I will just put it, paste it here. Click on verify. You can see that it has gone. Okay. All right. So it said I should save. Um, you can see it. it it says you should save this single you see it, this backup code lets you log in to twitter if you can't receive a text message or don't have access to any of your other two factor authenticator methods so this code as well that they gave to you you must save it all right please save it somewhere it's in a secure place at the end of this video i will disable this thing and redo another one because initially it's not good to show it on video so i will i will, I will delete this and i will I will request for a new Google Indicator key so so that you give me something different from this. I'm just doing this for the sake of this video tutorial. So now you will click on this thing, copy it, make sure you save it too. All right, then you click on got it. All right, so once you click on got it, you see that this thing has been marked. All right, so whenever you want to log in to your Twitter account, it will always ask authenticator code anywhere, be it on PC anywhere it always asks whenever it asks for could you just come here any any code you see here just copy it from this place this down here just copy it so you use it. i have it for majority of my important account including facebook my trading account i have it that is the best way to secure your account using the authenticator but that backup code i showed you after the qr code always try as much as possible what to um save it okay always try as much as possible to save it somewhere else and um that is all it how to secure your account now you have secure your account and make sure that this text message section does not is not marked if it's marked or mark it all right so but you can follow me on twitter with crypto toilet and um, you can at the same time join our um, telegram crypto group so i teach people how to make money on crypto for free so you can see this is our telegram you can see this is our telegram um channel you can see this is our telegram channel and at the same time we have a um telegram group as well so we have a telegram group so this is our telegram group so you can definitely join our telegram group where we discuss how to make money on crypto as well so that is just um, how it goes okay so thanks for um watching do have a great day.